Hi everybody, this is a sacred geometry fairy tale, a story that's never been told. Let me take you on a journey down the yellow brick road with our friend the Tin Man who's looking for his heart. This is a metaphor for locating the eye of the spiral, the golden ratio, which is the key to all the harmonics of the universe, which, we, which is evident when we look at seashells and nature. So this is how we reconnect back to the cosmic knowledge that is in nature, that is in our human body. So first of all, I, I would like to create a golden rectangle for you so you understand the significance of what I've created here is that I've discovered a new way how to locate the sweet spot, the, the, the eye of the spiral. It's going to be this mystical point here. So, and I'm going to draw my first square here. We could call it one by one, but because we're looking at the Fibonacci numbers, um, just trusting that everyone already knows the Fibonacci numbers, it's a subsequent diminishing of the square. So as we go 13, 8, 5, 3, 2, 1, and that goes to that infinitesimally small point. So we've done the 13. Now we've got, I'm going to draw the next smaller Fibonacci square here. And we can call that 8 by 8. And over here we've got a 5 by 5. We'll call that five, we'll call this eight. And as it, you can see now, the problem is that the squares are diminishing and and that's a three by three, that's a two by two, and that's a one by one. We want to locate this point here. So traditionally, when we um, wanted to find the golden sweet spot, we had to draw a series of quarter circles. So. I'm going to draw a quarter of an arc from this larger square. I'm going to put my compass point here. And I'm going to draw in what we call a quarter of a quarter of a circle arc. It goes from that point to that point here. And then I could keep doing it, but the squares get smaller and smaller. So now I'll just do it freehand. So we're creating the golden spiral, the yellow brick road. So that's the next quarter of an arc circle. And then the next one, next one. And as they're tumbling around, what's happening is we don't know where it ends. In fact, it's not even a point. It doesn't, it never ends. The, the, um, the golden ratio, the ratio of 8 to 13 or 5 to 8 as, as a decimal is 1.618033. But it goes forever. It's not actually a number. So we can't actually touch this. It's, this is the physics of what we call time bending in wormholes. This is the portal into the entrance and exiting of the world. So, so traditionally, when we wanted to locate this point, because the squares and circles won't do it, we had to draw a diagonal, the long diagonal from that point, from that end to that end. And if I took away this square, you'll see that there's another golden rectangle here. If I hide this square, there's another golden rectangle there. So it's infinite phi rectangles. So I'm going to draw another diagonal going down this smaller golden rectangle. And can you see here, I'm going to mark this point um, here in blue, is that that's going to be the golden sweet spot point here. So that's the traditional way of locating the sweet spot. But the discovery that I've known for many, many decades, and which I'm proud to release now, is that there's another way of locating this point without using linear lines that intersect at 90 degrees. It's called just circumscribing the, the square. So I'm going to draw a circle around all these squares. So just by knowing the relationship between circle and square, we can access this point of infinity, this point of connection. So um, I'm going to grab um, this circle. You can see that this circle is already touching the four corners of the square here. So I'm going to just draw a a red circle that goes around there, come over here. So that's our first largest circle. So we circumscribe the square. Essentially what I've done is that if we have the square, which represents matter, physicality, the earth, and, and put the, the circle of spirit around it, we're making a statement that in our physical life, we have a connection to the divine, the circle around us. In contrast to the inversion of that, where we have, if we have the square around the circle, which is pi, that's what pi is all about, is that we have the square around limiting 
the force of our spirit within. So they're different energies. And then there's, and that's why pi, pi, is a mathematical ratio of importance of the circle and square, but the ultimate ratio of um, proportionality is when the circle and the square become equal in the circumference. So this here that I'm going over, this circle here is called the golden circle. That's where the circle is equal to the square in circumference and perimeter. So that's the golden circle, which has got to do with the golden ratio. So that's why we believe this knowledge of the Fibonacci sequence that gives us the key to the phi ratio is the ultimate physics of all creation. So we're almost there. So this discovery that I've known and I'm really proud of is that when we draw the next circumscribed square, if I draw another circle around the next smaller square here, you'll notice that something happens. There's a point of intersection here at the sweet spot. And to prove that that's correct, we're going to take the next smaller square and draw another circle here. So there's a square here. I'm going to draw this circle here that goes around those four corners. And it can go on and on and on. We'll just draw one more here. So, so we found a way how to locate the sweet spot by understanding the cosmic relationship between circle and square earth and spirit so this is the sweet spot this is the meeting point of all the circles of all the elements of spirit so it's like a community of beings that are all congregating at this focal point so we can um tune into this and i believe that the metaphor of the yellow brick road this long and winding road is taking us to this sweet spot this point of implosion this um doorway or portal into the higher dimensions so that, that's the story of the Tin Man, because ultimately what is our journey about? Our journey is looking for more connection, it's looking for more heart. We're looking for that sweet spot where everyone is equal. Hope you enjoyed this, and if you want to know more about the work we're doing, we have online e-courses, and the links are in the bio. Thank you very much.